the flower to the bowl M I X the flower into the bowl Baking a cake, yes, means you gotta try I'm doing this for years, but don't ask me why Welcome friends to this 11th 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 The one after 10 episode of my vlog um, This is another kind of unscripted one And it's kind of wacky and um, it's not really about design or magazines or anything. One of the bonuses of living in Melbourne is there's so many sort of Asian grocery stores. Uh, there's lots of really easy access to lots of really ace Asian food. So yeah, this, this supermarket opened and they're calling themselves a Japanese supermarket, although it's sort of half Japanese, half um, lots of other sort of nationalities. And I went along and I just filled a shopping bag full of treats and stuff that I like. So this is my Asian supermarket shopping haul video. So yeah, I've got a heap of stuff in here. Hmm, hockey. Hockey comes in savory and sweet and oh, I get it confused with pretz, which has like ham and cheese flavor and stuff like that. This one's got this character and oh, I should look up who it is because he was on like everything in this shop. can pop out the arms. Yeah, so he has little pop out arms. And there's some, I think he pop out his eyes on the back. Oh, it's so cute! Mmm. Mmm. Coffee. Mmm. Chocolate coffee. Mocha? Mocha coffee? Mr. Delicious. You can come here and just watch me eat, could you? That's a good here. We have got actual coffee. I say actual coffee, it's like fake milky coffee stuff. You can buy this in vending machines in Japan and in Melbourne you can buy it in shops. I haven't been to Japan for a while but when I, whenever I go I get really addicted to the vending machines, especially the coffee. I don't usually drink coffee, coffee's not good for me, it makes me go a bit too lally. This is sort of like lolly coffee. I think coffee aficionados in Melbourne would be appalled by this. Shall we make this later? just like put an egg in it. Hmm. Very khaki. I hope I'm saying that right. It's that stuff that you sprinkle on your rice or you can like mix it in with the rice uh, to season it. Usually I get the one that's got a chicken on it and it's got little tiny bits of egg uh, and seaweed and bento flakes and all sorts of stuff. I don't know what this flavor is. This little, this red guy, I think from um, little cartoon inside. Everything's better when there's a character on it. I don't know why Western, you know, grocery people haven't cottoned onto this. It looks like it might be Codro and Benito. And there's seaweed in there. It looks like fish food and probably tastes a bit like fish food. It's like fish food for humans. Why should fish have all that fish food? Meh meh. Oh, caramel corn. Maybe you've seen caramel corn? This is not a usual caramel corn package. This is actually a bit design related because I'm obsessed with caramel corn packaging. I was trying to collect all the different sorts of packages. I actually have a bit of a collection. Should I show you? It's a bit sad. Like, I feel like the actual original package, which is red with this face on it, is like a design classic. It's like an unrecognized design classic. And this is like a Christmas caramel corn. Uh, I don't know what this was. <laughs> Angry caramel corn? You look at lots of really classic design. Brand 
branding icons, and I feel like caramel corn is there. Pretty much you can put a face on any package, as long as it's this shape and you think it's caramel corn. I think this is brown sugar flavor. Wow, that smells just like burnt sugar. Looks like a poo. <laughs> That makes me a bit unhappy. It's just like a bag of poos. You don't want to see me eat this on camera. I don't think that's a good idea. I'll just, I'll just do this. I'm slightly bitter. It's actually quite delicious. Oh, it's grey inside. This is possibly one of the strangest snack foods I've had. And as you can see from this video, it's really saying something. This is another personal favourite. This is a special edition though, every burger. Usually it's in a red box and it's, I think it's just normal. I don't know what's happening here, bourbon. Must be a type of biscuit. These are a bit malformed, but that's in every burger. Let's see if I can find a better, more perfect one. Now I've tested these out on work colleagues, some of these snacks before. The caramel corn, especially the jumbo size, the big poo size, Got a big thumbs down because I think I think I had strawberry ones and they still looked like pink poos. No one wants to eat something that looks like a poo. They need to go back to normal size caramel corn with more of a curve. That just sounds wrong after the poo analogy. I took these in though, and although they're quite odd, there's no really perfect looking ones. Uh, but these got a thumbs up, uh, mostly because they're not super sweet. It's chocolate uh, with like a biscuity bun, but. They're not like super icky sweet. What not to love about a biscuit that looks like a burger. I haven't really eaten, so I'm quite hungry too. Oh, this is something I've been wanting to try. I'm pretty sure in here is a type of ice cream. And they come in all sorts of uh, flavors. So there's like a melon one. Um, but I've never, never, bought one of these before, so I'm kind of interested. This is Nashi pear flavor, so Japanese pear flavor. Whoa, it looks like that. Let's try this, because I have a feeling this is going to be delicious. Oh my gosh, it's like a sorbet. Oh, oh, oh I just want to eat all of this. This could be one of the best things I bought today. That's pretty cool packaging, I reckon. <laughs> this is exciting. This is, uh, I have a bad time saying it. Ra, Ramuni? Ramuni? Ramun? It's a, it's the name of a type of soda anyway. Um, and they usually come in these funny little bottles that have like, uh, little glass ball in them and you have to like snap them open. This one though, I've never seen one that was dressed as a snowman. I have no idea what the flavour is. Let's see if we can do this <laughs> without using a tabletop. I'm pretty bad at popping these open actually. See, it comes with like this thing and then there's like a ball in the top and you sort of put that in and then you hit it. Should we, should we do it? I'm a bit scared. <laughs> bit vigorous. Uh, I'm just gonna clean this up. Okay, <laughs> so that's pretty much what usually happens. Um, I'm not very good at opening them, I don't think. <laughs> um, but they're delicious and they're cute and they have a ball in them. Where's the ball gone? Oh. The ball's in the bottom. It's just like sort of lemonade. Well, with this and the coffee, I'm gonna be buzzing <laughs> for the rest of the afternoon. I just have the rest. Yeah, this stuff's a bit boring. I got these because I really like um, Japanese pasta sauce. Packaging's really boring. These aren't Japanese. I think these are, these are Korean, but they have them in a few shops around Melbourne and there's lots of them. And they're always delicious. I got one that's lotus root and one that's chicken. I really like these. They're so neat.
Yeah, and this was one I thought was a challenge, actually, because they're sort of a bit obsessed with this green tea flavour at the moment as a sort of dessert thing. I think they call it matcha or matcha. But I've, tr I've tried to get into it and I don't, I don't really like it. And then I don't really like tea that much. So we're gonna give these a shot, but this might be a purchase I regret. Um, okay. Oh, so many flavors, all of them. Wrong. Oh, it's like leaves. That is what tea is, isn't it? No, I can't. I, if you like tea, maybe you'll like it. Oh, a bit of that. A bit of that. Oh, maybe a bit of this. Hey, that worked. <laughs> I think that's my Asian snack haul done. Is that entertaining? Was that a good video? I have no idea. Before I go, I wanted to say a quick thank you to Grilly Type in Zurich, who sent me a poster um, promoting a new typeface they brought out. That's the typeface, and it is called Spectra. It's a really nice name, actually. It's a really beautifully drawn typeface. A big G on the back. Yeah, hopefully next week we're either going to have collab or something more scripted that I've been working on. Uh, but you'll just have to subscribe and see. Thanks for stopping by, keep yourselves nice, and what am I gonna eat now? All the choices.